How would you spend 6000 euros in Astro equipment? Should it be a new Newtonian, an apochromatic refractor or maybe a Schmidt Cassegra? And what about the camera? How big should the sensor be? How large the pixels? Long or short focal lengths? There are so many choices and so many things you might want. What can you get with 6000 euros? I had the chance to find out. I spent a lot of time thinking about what to choose before I share my final decision. Please comment on which camera, mount and telescope you would get with that budget. Getting 6000 euros for Astro equipment was a dream come true. It was amazing when it actually happened. Since I run an observatory, I invest a lot of time in public outreach, offer a club for students and work with local media. This helps attract sponsors to support the observatory. The latest 6000 euros is the biggest amount we've received so far, enough to make significant improvements. Now that we have the money, what should we buy? First, I needed to clarify my requirements. We already have long focal length telescopes for planets and deep sky. Here on the North Sea coast, the seeing is often poor, so something with a short focal length is better to get clear images even with bad seeing conditions. That suggests an ARPO. I quickly chose the ASCAR. The question was whether to get the 103 or the 140. A 140mm ARPO would be nice, but it's too long in focal length. It needs to be short this time. So I chose the ASCAR 103 with a 06 times reducer. The specs indicate it will fully illuminate and correct the camera I selected, though I may need to crop a bit. If necessary, I get a 08 times reducer, but I want to try the extreme option first. A top camera was needed. The ZWO ASI 2600MC seemed perfect. I prefer the color version despite knowing the pros and cons. The images on Astrobin taken with this camera are often better than those from cheaper models. The camera choice was easy. I considered the Canon R10 but lacked experience with it. It would be nice to use in the field. I also thought about getting two cameras, one for the APU and one for the 10 inch Newtonian, but decided to stick with the ZWO 2600MC without compromises. Why not the Duo? I wanted the latest StarSense system, the Celestron StarSense Autoguider. I saw a demo and was impressed. It seems perfect for adding to the StarSense system, especially for public observation nights at the observatory. It quickly aligns, tracks objects accurately and finds them fast in the sky, in theory. It should also make guiding with the APO easy. For public nights, we'll use a 150mm f5 Newtonian visually instead of the ASCAR. It's simpler. Since StarSense determines the mount brand, it has to be a Celeste one. The AVX mount is light, stable, reliable and a great base for the ASCAR with the camera. No further thought needed, as it needs to be mobile too. We also need items like a button of mask, power supply, etc. In summary, we'll get an ASCAR 103 with 06 times reducer and flattener, a ZWO ASI 2600MC, a Celestron AVX, a Celestron StarSense Autoguider, all the necessary cables and small parts, of course. That's it. The 6000 euros are spent. I hope this setup will work for nights when the 10 inch Newtonian on the EQ8 is too affected by the seeing, which happens often here. On a good night, I'll also try the 2600 on the Newtonian, as I'm very curious. I'm looking forward to the new setup and the first images. It's ordered now and should be ready soon. So that's 6000 euros for a setup. Do you think it's a good choice? What would you have chosen? Let me know in the comments. In conclusion, investing 6000 euros in astronomy sounds like a dream and it is, but it's not easy. There are so many great options today and making a decision that still feels right in two years is tough. I'm excited to see if this was the right choice. Until then, clear skies.